China is designing a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier equipped with hypersonic electromagnetic railguns and high-energy laser systems, technologies powerful enough to intercept incoming threats at extreme speed and reshape global maritime capabilities. This video breaks down how these systems work, why nuclear energy is essential to power them, and how this next-generation platform could redefine the future of large, high-tech carriers. Let's dive into the engineering behind this bold new design. China's new carrier begins with a transformative engineering choice, replacing conventional fossil fuel propulsion with a fully nuclear-driven system capable of supporting some of the most electrically demanding technologies ever placed on a maritime platform. This concept, revealed in a CCTV broadcast and explained by National Defense University commentator Liang Fong, positions energy, not hardware, as the foundation of the vessel's design. Nuclear power is what enables the ship to host hypersonic electromagnetic railguns, high-energy lasers, and electromagnetic aircraft launch systems. Nuclear propulsion offers a vastly different performance profile from conventional engines. Instead of fluctuating energy output tied to fuel consumption, a nuclear reactor delivers a continuous, stable supply of high-capacity electrical power. This is essential for systems that depend on large power surges, long-duration operation, or advanced computing. Electromagnetic launch catapults, advanced sensor networks, and electric-intensive cooling systems all benefit from an energy source that doesn't weaken or require frequent refueling. Rear Admiral Ma Weiming, a leading contributor to China's electromagnetic technology research, previously described a total electric ship approach. A concept where propulsion, weapons, computing, and internal systems all draw from a unified, adaptable power grid. This integrated electric architecture allows power to be dynamically redistributed in real time. If the ship requires additional energy for sensing systems or electromagnetic acceleration, the grid responds instantly without straining the reactor. This design also enhances thermal management. High-energy systems like lasers and railguns generate significant heat, requiring advanced cooling solutions. Nuclear power plants offer more flexible cooling configurations and can support higher-capacity thermal systems compared to conventional carriers. The vessel is also expected to use electromagnetic catapults, which offer more consistent launches than steam catapults and can handle heavier aircraft with sophisticated equipment. This enables next-generation aircraft, especially those with advanced sensors, larger onboard power systems, or heavier payloads, to operate more efficiently. Ultimately, the carrier's design centers on one idea, a ship built not around aircraft, but around energy. The defining feature of this carrier is the planned integration of hypersonic electromagnetic railguns systems capable of accelerating metal projectiles using powerful magnetic fields instead of chemical propellant. According to the article, these railguns generate a magnetic field along two conductive rails, pushing a projectile forward at extraordinary speeds, often reaching Mach 5. This velocity offers superior range, rapid response, and precise targeting compared to earlier kinetic launch systems. Railguns have historically been limited not by concept, but by energy. They require massive bursts of electrical power to achieve hypersonic acceleration, which conventional carriers cannot reliably provide. This is where nuclear propulsion becomes crucial. With a steady, high-capacity supply of electricity, a nuclear reactor can support the repeated charging cycles needed for railgun operation without stressing the ship's power grid. The United States previously invested over $500 million into railgun research and achieved tests reaching beyond Mach 6. However, the program paused due to limitations in electrical power availability, rail durability, and integration challenges with existing platforms. China's approach differs by designing a ship specifically around the needs of electromagnetic weapons rather than retrofitting them onto an older structure. Complementing the railgun is the integration of high-energy laser systems, which rely entirely on electrical power and offer immediate response times. Lasers can deliver precise, concentrated energy beams capable of high-accuracy, long-duration engagement. 
Their effectiveness improves dramatically when powered by a nuclear reactor because they require continuous electricity and advanced cooling. Two things nuclear propulsion naturally supports. What ties all these systems together is not the weapons themselves, but the energy infrastructure that powers them. Nuclear propulsion transforms the ship into a massive, floating power plant capable of supporting multiple high-demand systems simultaneously. Beyond its electrical infrastructure and electromagnetic systems, China's future carrier is designed to operate a completely new class of next-generation aircraft. According to China state media, the vessel is expected to host sixth-generation carrier-based aircraft featuring enhanced stealth shaping, powerful engines, sensor fusion, and onboard artificial intelligence for advanced decision support. These aircraft are engineered to integrate seamlessly with the carrier's electromagnetic catapult system and high-power sensor suite. Sixth-generation aircraft focus on extended range, enhanced onboard computing, and compatibility with autonomous partners. The electromagnetic catapult enables the launch of heavier aircraft equipped with larger fuel reserves, expanded sensor packages, and energy-demanding technologies. This allows the air wing to conduct longer-duration flights, more detailed monitoring tasks, and more coordinated operations across broader regions. These capabilities create an environment where aircraft can gather, process, and distribute information more efficiently. The carrier will also rely heavily on uncrewed autonomous aircraft, a core component of China's next-generation aviation strategy. These drones may include stealthy long-endurance platforms, early detection systems, electronic environment monitors, and long-range data relays. Their reduced weight and compact designs make them ideal for electromagnetic launch systems, enabling high-frequency deployment and flexible mission configurations. As a result, drones can operate as forward sensors, extended communication links, or specialized task units depending on operational needs. The combination of crewed and uncrewed aircraft forms a connected airborne ecosystem. Autonomous drones extend detection range, map surrounding environments, and deliver real-time information to sixth-generation jets working closer to the carrier. When these platforms share data through a unified digital framework, the air wing functions as an intelligent, cooperative network with far greater situational awareness than traditional flight groups. Nuclear propulsion strengthens this ecosystem even more by supporting high-capacity computing, advanced communications, and energy-intensive onboard systems. These resources ensure that aircraft with complex electronics, heavier mission loads, or sophisticated AI tools can operate without limitations. The additional electrical output also supports more extensive environmental sensing and advanced thermal management. What makes this design especially impactful is how the ship's energy system, electromagnetic launch capability, and intelligent aircraft integrate into a single coordinated structure. Instead of functioning as isolated components, every system, airborne or ship-based, works together. This synergy transforms the carrier from a traditional launch platform into a flexible, data-driven operational hub capable of adapting to rapidly changing conditions while sustaining highly advanced technologies. China's nuclear carrier concept signals a major shift toward energy-centered engineering. By pairing nuclear propulsion with hypersonic railguns, high-energy lasers, and an intelligent mix of crewed and autonomous aircraft, China is developing a platform where electricity, sensors, and computing function as one integrated system. This approach redefines what large-scale maritime technology can be, shifting emphasis from fuel-based performance to electrical capability and coordinated digital operation. It reflects a broader transition toward next-generation platforms built around power, precision, and advanced system integration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.